Hey guys, and welcome to my channel, Explicit Wellness. Yes, today I will be talking to you about and also doing a demonstration of how to steam your yoni. We will be talking about V-steaming, or some people even call it yoni steaming. So let's get to it. First, I want to show you my ingredients here. Hope you can see everything there. I can see it. Here I have my pot over here um, with six cups of boiling water. Make sure you do not use tap water. I'm using spring water. You need six cups of that. Okay, and I put me some lemons in here. So you want to bring this water to a boil. So before you put all your herbs in there. So let's get started. First we're going to talk about sage. We need sage, okay? Sage leaves is known to support memory and brain health, but it is especially famous for its relaxing and energy cleansing properties. Thus, it regulates unwanted energy in the womb. So that's a good herb right there. Then we also have rosemary. Rosemary has a beautiful scent. I love it. I put it in some of my skincare products, but let me tell you a little bit about rosemary. Rosemary boosts the immune system and circulatory system, treats bacterial infection, speeds wounds, healing, and stimulates menstruation, okay? Let's move on to our next herb, which is thyme. Thyme here, thyme, thyme. <laughs> it has an anti-inflammatory and antioxidant effects that are useful in treating skin conditions, intestinal infections, and support healing throughout the whole body. So this is time. That's a good um, herb also. And then I have one stick of cinnamon. Cinnamon also helps with fertility disorders. So we're going to put that in there. And back here we have our rose buds. This is a superfood. Your rose flower buds are known to nourish your skin and relax your body. Relieves urine congestions, causing pain and heavy periods. Also used as a therapy treatment for irregular periods and infertility. And it increases your libido. So. Here we have basil. Basil is also um, known as a holy grail um, herb. Basil helps detoxify the body and is anti-inflammatory. Contains vitamin K, magnesium, iron, vitamin A, and vitamin C. And also regulates menstrual cycles and hormonal issues. Also helps fight depression. So there's your basil. And right here, we're going to put some soothing oatmeal in there. If you ever have ever um, taken an oatmeal bath, it's so soothing. It makes your skin so soft. So let me tell you a little bit about that. It um, says it's a skin protecting, long recognized, recognized, a temporarily relieve itching and minor skin irritations. Okay. It's soothing and it's good for a bath treatment um, and treating like poison ivies, eczema, rashes, and insect bites, and therefore, there you have it. So, we're going to use this because oatmeal is good for your skin. Then we have here, we have our chamomile teas. We're going to use three packages of that. Chamomile contains pain, relieving properties, boosts immunity, reduces periods, pains, and also relaxes the uterus. So, there you have it. We're going to be using eight ingredients here, okay, along with our water. And we're going to start putting everything in our bowl here. Use my scissors to cut open my tea bags. 
and that's what you do. You just open it. You might not don't may not need may not need my scissors. Probably just do it like this. Okay. Chamomile. I love to drink chamomile tea. It's so soothing. Yes, it calms you and everything. I love it. Okay. Make sure you don't leave any herbs in your tea bag. You need all of that to go in the bowl. My water is trying to boil over here. I'm going to turn that heat up a little bit so we can get started on our V steaming. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about that after I get all of my ingredients in here because I know you're wanting to know and wanting to do this regimen. So, this treatment for your body. Then we're going to be using our basil, two teaspoons, tablespoons, I'm sorry, tablespoon. Theme. And as a matter of fact, this is going to be my first time doing a steam. <laughs> yes, I've been researching it for a long time. I said, well, I have majority of my ingredients. Let me just go ahead and do it. <laughs> yes. I'm going to sit that in there. And now it's time to measure our time. Smells so good. Rosemary. Mmm. I love those two. Thyme and rosemary together. Yes. So you know what the steam is going to be smelling like. <laughs> my arrow, my sacred space. <laughs> yes. And here's the sage here. I'm also going to be burning sage. Yes, to clear out my arrow. And now it's time for our superfood, which is our <laughs> rose buds. Okay. How they look inside. Okay. I'm just gonna do it like this. Crinkle it up some. I hope you all can see. Bring it down. Just gonna crumble them up some because they come in little buds. I want it to break it up some. Yeah, roses are known to be for good luck also. I made me some rose gloss me out lip gloss mm -hmm. and it came out perfectly it's like a hydration lip gloss yes okay now there you have it everything is all in the bowl well incorporated mm -hmm. and once I 
want you to see it closer. We have chamomile tea here. We have thyme. We have rosebuds. We have sage. We have rosemary. We have basil. And we also have sage in our cinnamon stick. Okay. Now, let me tell you a little bit more about this regimen this V steam we're getting ready to do V steaming is known as yoning steaming also this is a health treatment containing herbs yoning steaming has been practiced for years yoning steaming has been around for as long as I can <laughs> imagine. And women, us women, we praise it. Why we praise it? Because this treatment is such a good physical and spiritual healing. It gives us spiritual and physical abilities. This yoni steaming treats fibroids, cyst, endometrius, endometrius, Metrius, I think I'm saying it right. Mm -hmm. Menstrual cramps and other conditions that affect the uterus. If you are considering a yoni sting, you all, this is for you. Okay? Everything is from your kitchen, all of them is spice. So, only thing you probably have to buy is probably sage if you don't want to use your herb. Um, natural herbs in your kitchen and your rosebuds is the only thing that you have to um, go and buy but everything is in your kitchen you all yoni steaming is for you it can release both physical and emotional toxins that's very good physical and emotional toxins it also assists with healing of hemorrhoids maintain a healthy odor Relieves symptoms of menopause. Treats chronic vaginal yeast infections. And among other ailments. After this theme, you all, we're going to feel revived. You're supposed to feel rejuvenated. And your pH balance is supposed to be better than what it has been. <laughs> and... You're going to be horny, they said. You're going to be horny, okay? It helps with that. And it's going to help with vaginal dryness. And if you have, when you're having sexual intercourse, you have painful sex, it's also going to help with that also. You're going to have that. Your yoni smelling so fresh. And it's going to be tasting so sweet. And it's going to enhance your libido, okay? So. While we're waiting for our water to boil, I'm going to go ahead and get my station set up, and I'll be back. Hey guys, I'm back. Okay, let me show you. The water is boiling, and herbs are here, and this bowl looks so beautiful. Mm -hmm. And... We have our crock pot. Okay, I'm going to be using this in my crock pot. <laughs> my steam is going to go in the crock pot. Okay, so I'm gonna put this since the water is boiling. I'm gonna go ahead and put my herbs in here. Everything goes in while it's boiling. And we're going to let this simmer about 10 minutes. You all forgot to tell you all. It's, that's oatmeal. That's what I forgot to mention. That's colloidal oatmeal. And put your cinnamon stick in there. You can just stir that around. Just stir it, stir it, stir it, stir it, stir it, stir it. Yes. 
third around. Now, you can use any type of container that you want, but I like it because um, it has a nozzle on it, which you have your different settings. You have low and then you have high. So you can um, pretty much control your own heat. Yes. Okay. Put that in there. Get me a spoon. I want to stir that up more because that um, oatmeal is in there. It's kind of clumpy. I just want to get some of those clumps out. But you can leave it like that. It still is going to do some work. It's going to do good because it's all going to work together. Yes. Okay. I'm also going to show you what I will be. Just let that sit for a minute. And then we're going to transfer this thing into the crock pot. I want to show you what I have on for the steaming because you need something long and open to sit over it so it can keep the heat in. So, be back. Okay, this is what I have on. This is what I'll be steaming with. It's just a long African Nefertiti dress. Okay, so I can sit down on my chair and sit. Okay, and make sure you all are wearing some socks because it's going to also keep the heat in okay we need socks so put your socks on and I'll be back okay you all I'm in my bedroom this is one of my lawn chairs here I said okay until I get a um a young seat which I will be making on my own so I'll be doing another video on how to make my own Yanni steam seat but look at the chair you all it has holes in it it has holes all around in it that's just what I'm gonna use to lean back on um and this is my bucket I had a bucket so I am going to put the crock pot inside of there and I guess you're saying, <laughs> I guess you're probably saying, um, that doesn't look like it's going to fit. It fits perfectly. Look, 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 look. Yes. So, our herb should be ready. And I want to show you one more thing before we get started. Um, have you some water um, this is watercress water with lime you know spring water because you will be heated up because the steam will rise from the bottom to the top all throughout your body so I have sage here so I'll be burning that before I do my steaming okay we'll be back I'm going to go ahead and sage my area and say affirmations and meditate and get some of that negative energy out. Yes. I like to sage my home once a week, sometimes twice. Prosperity, 
abundance flowing spiritual physical emotional Get everything out that's not like you want. Yes. And you can just say whatever prayer you want to say or affirmation, whatever make you feel comfortable. Yes. Whatever makes you feel comfortable. We'll let that sit on there and let it burn some. And now that we've finished anointing our area, saging our area, whatever you would like to call it, um, our herb should be ready. Okay. It's ready, you all. We're going to turn that heat off. Look at it. It's ready. Look at it. So we're going to transfer it in our crock pot. Be careful not to splatter it. Make sure all of your herbs are out of your pot. Mm -hmm. And this is how it's looking. Okay. You want it as hot as you can get it. As hot as you can get it. Let's go and steam our yoni. <laughs> okay, I have my footstool here, and now I'm getting ready to put the crock pot inside of the bucket. I got an extension cord here, and I also can adjust my setting. Sit with your legs. Sit down with your legs open. I'm going to put my dress over the back of my the back of my chair because it's that big. <laughs> okay. You want to keep all the steam in. Then I have my <clears throat> blanket. <laughs> Remember, I'm going to keep all the steam in as possible, much as possible. Make sure you get that right position. Ooh, I'm already sweating. <laughs> but I also have a glow. <laughs> but you want to get that right position. And with my foot 
stool down there, it helps me to open up even more. Yes, I can feel it. Yes. Yes. Okay, as you can see, I dimmed my lights. <laughs> I dimmed them. So at this time, you can say a prayer. Um, anything that you're going through, um, talk to God. Or however you like to pray or meditate. This is the time. You know, we are going through so much. Um, and this is a trying time now with this COVID virus going around. And, and just so much on our minds and people are passing away family members close friends and it's just so heartbreaking we just pray and ask God to help those families help our family because we also were affected by um, our parent our father passed of the COVID virus also so we're just trying to uplift everyone in prayer, um, ask for strength, and to um, have a, the knowledge of knowing how and uh, to handle this situation. And uh, speak peace. And this is the time to do that. And you also can read a book, like I'm getting ready to do. I'm going to write my affirmations down. I like to write 33 times 3 manifestations, 3 days in a row. Whatever you want to manifest, write it 33 times for 3 days. Three days. Make sure that steam is staying in there. You want that steam to stay in there. Have faith and it will happen. say I am so happy because you gotta just you can say anything or you can even say I like how I can purchase anything that I want I like that I have a promotion on my job it feels wonderful to have my own house built. It feels so wonderful to have a new car. Whatever you want, just write it. Three days in a row and 33 times. Yes. You also can look at your tablet if you have something to, that you may need to do. Just re, It's just relaxation time. Yes, you can get on your tablet and do whatever. Look at a movie. Get on YouTube. <laughs> whatever you like. You all, it feels so warm up under here. It's working. Thank you. I had this chair. <laughs> but I will be investing in me a steam box because I, I want to have the box. I like how it is. But right now, it's, it's doing its job right here. It really is doing its job. It's doing its job. Yes. It really is doing its job. I just want to see, have I forgotten anything to tell you all about this bee steaming, okay? Let's see. Some people ask, how do you steam and how often? When should you do this bee steam? You should steam before your menstruation, okay? You should always steam before your menstruation. Everyone knows, excuse me. Excuse me. 
when they're getting ready to um, have their ministry. So, okay. How often do can we do a V steaming? Well, I say twice a month you can do V steaming. You don't want to do it so regularly. You and you can you can also get wet wetter down there, and you can also dry yourself out. So you just want to be careful with that. Okay. Yes. And the next thing is, um, can I have intercourse after um, this V steaming? No, not right after. Give yourself 24 to 48 hours the next day before you have any intercourse. Yes. Do not have intercourse right after this therapy. Okay? How often should we steam? How long should we steam? 30 to an hour. 30 minutes to an hour you should steam. Okay? 30 minutes to an hour you should steam. Okay? And you want to meditate. We have already talked about that, okay? And you want to clean your space before you do a sting, which we have already seen um, that earlier, okay? But remember your herbs that you put in your sting. You want to put rosemary, thyme, basil, rose flower buds, chamomile, sage leaves, and cinnamon. Okay, those are the things that you can put. You also don't have to put exactly what I put in mine, but I like the effects and what's in all of these um, herbs that I use. So, yeah, you can use your own herbs. Mm -hmm. So remember, if you're looking for a yoni sting and how to do it, I advise you all to follow what I have um, did a tutorial on earlier today on how. Um, to prepare it and what type of herbs herbs you need for the steam and also um, how to set up your your seating for your yoni steaming yes so be mindful of that you know you can use orange peels um, lime lemon but I wanted to use lemon okay you know lemon is a cleanser also so keep that in mind yes so yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How I feel? Oh my. It feels so warm down there. Like it's just already wet. And feels so rejuvenated. Like, like it's not working my muscles, but it's, it's opening up. It's opening up everything down there, you know. And another thing, you all, they said if you, um, you may have a little drippings down there, whatever, and that's normal, so it's okay, it's okay. So, um, that's why I want to invest in me a yoni seat because we're having opening in. I have openings, but it's not wide enough where anything comes out or drip out it won't go in the hole because i don't have a hole in it it'll go on my seat and i have to clean that up so that's fine but it's doing the job it's working <laughs> so if you have a lawn chair like this with the opening holes just make sure you know that you can use that okay thank you all for watching and tuning in to explicit wellness and um yeah Get those kitties, whatever you want to call it, your yoni, um, <laughs> whatever, your pearl, your strawberry. Get this beach theming right, and you're good to go. Thank you all for tuning in. Well, <laughs> how did it make me feel down there? Yes, the yawning steaming made me feel rejuvenated. It had my juices flowing, made me wetter. Um, it had like a pulse movement. And it also had my skin rehydrated. So, out of all those things I mentioned to you, 
I loved it. Yes. And I will be doing it again because it helps your uterus. It tightens your uterus. And <clears throat> it's just so powerful. Anything that you have and um, want to get rid of, um, the steaming works within a day. That same day you do a steaming. You all need to research it. Um, it has good benefits. Um, benefits to it. And, and it makes you feel so relieved and light <laughs> okay guys I'm just sitting up here with my neck propped up still trying to pamper myself yes thank you for tuning in to explicit wellness and don't forget to like share and subscribe <laughs>